We beat to rap what key beat to lock, but I'm cool like that. You're now rocking with the best Luminary Sounds, the, the number one station for independent artists. I'm cool like that. I'm cool. Uh, hey, ho, hey, ho. You hear the excitement? How you guys? It's the infamous Luminary Sounds with Francois the Great, Junior Leto, Missy Talks in the building. That's right. With our special guest, Dexter Nunnery. Woo! The man of the people. Hello, sir. <laughs> I like that. Good How you morning. doing, Dexter? I like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, uh, you are the man of the people. You have yeah. so many things going on with you right now. You have your nonprofits. You have the round four. I mean, I don't even know where to start. Well, can you introduce yourself to the people so they know who you are and who we're speaking to? Like what you're all about? Sure. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Dexter Nunnery. I am the founder and creator of Round Four, founder and creator of Project Fifty, and I'm from Mississippi. Don't get it twisted. Shout out to Mississippi. I'm from. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. <laughs> I'm from Mississippi too. It's all love. I mean, yeah, us Mississippi yeah. brothers, man. Something yeah. special about us, man. I already Absolutely. knew. Something special about the us. grind. The grind is different. The, yeah. The grind. <laughs> so, yeah. what part of Mississippi yeah. are you from? So I'm from uh, Macomb, Mississippi, but I yeah. went to Jackson okay. State. Jackson State. All right. I, say, State, I see the yeah. J on the hat. You better believe it. You better believe it. Jackson yeah. State. Uh, my the mother w went to Alcorn, actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Jackson State. So you, you Those grew, two go back and forth. They go back and yeah. forth. Mm. Exactly. All my, a lot of my homies are uh, Alcorn. All coin, yeah, yeah, wow. yeah they're not yeah. talking right now, but <laughs> I mean the last <laughs> that, last couple of years, last couple of years they've been quiet. Last so that's right, that's right, it. that's right. So yeah. speaking of Mississippi, man, you have this, um, you know, this uh, foundation that you're helping out Mississippi because you know the water crisis is just terrible, mm -hmm. yeah. and I'm watching online, and it really breaks my soul because where I'm from, you know, you know, it's the dirty, dirty. That's what we call it in the south, the dirty, dirty, yeah. and mm -hmm. to see that mud water coming out it's like we're in 2022 yeah, and this is what's happening with you know it's our crazy. people I, I just you know speak on that please yeah it's, it's it's pretty bad man and um it's been like that for a while so um what most people don't understand is i mean they see the situation but they don't understand the behind the scene politics that makes that takes place as a part of that and allows that to come to where the world is actually seeing it now, mm -hmm. which is a good mm -hmm. thing. I mean, if there's a silver lining in it at all, it's the world is watching right now. The world is watching. So right it's kind of like you got to keep your closet clean. I mean, it's the poorest state. Yeah, you absolutely. Know, highest in obesity. Yep. Uh, the worst in education. Right. Uh, living conditions. It's uh, it's pretty bad. You yeah. know, when I whenever I go home, mm. they treat me like I'm a superstar because I'm on the radio. It's like a, <laughs> oh, Junior's you in town. Oh, you the man. Yeah, yeah you, you are a superstar. superstar. I, I kind of am, but you, you know, I, but you know, you but, but, a, but it's a little extra. You know, yeah, little, you get I get another, I get an extra slice of you know Absolutely. pecan pie <laughs> when exactly. I go home. It's a yeah. little different. Yeah. You get an extra plate. I get man. an extra plate. Wait, oh, make man. Junior eats first. I'm like, right, okay, right. so there you go. Will you be donating? To his cause. Yes, I will be donating. Okay. To That's okay, what I want to talk go. about it, and then so we can have that audio. The video, obviously, uh, Drew Top Tim is, is getting Absolutely. us right now, and it's very important. And how can people help? Yes. With this situation. Well, um, you know, there's there's been interviews done, you know, by the governor, and um, you know, I think the main thing that they want America to know is the water's back on. But take, that's, take, not take, even, that's not even that's not a, even a pinch of the problem. So, but that kind of comes most people down who don't understand like what's really going on. So yes, the water has been turned back on. So now I guess you know some people are shifting from water donation, which is still needed. I mm -hmm. mean, there's people, there's people. I talk to people back there, and um, I have some conversations inside the mayor's office. And there's people who have water that they've been holding from two years ago when they had that Oof. that freeze mm. and things kind of froze up a little bit. So they've been wow. sitting on it. They've been sitting on the water. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So for two years. For two years. Imagine that. Wow, two <laughs> years. So with yeah. that being said, where the state of the community is at this point in time, what's, I guess, some of the emergency things that you see that if it happens immediate, would cause a great change to where well, we are right now. One of, one of the things that is happening, which um, I'm probably gonna shift to 
uh, a little more focus on mine as well is filters. Mm. So now that the water okay. is about like water filters. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now that the water's back on, people still need water, but um, there's filters now that are actually helping because the water is dirty. Absolutely. So people are trying to, you know, ship filters and, and uh, kind of um, slow that situation down a little bit, but people still got to live and they're going to, you know, we're going through the whole situation of the water. Right. Mm. But um, uh, one wow. of the guys who's really championed that. That process is trade the truth out of uh, out of uh, shout out to trade the truth, yeah, yeah, the yeah. truth. Out, yeah. out of Texas. Yeah, yeah, he's he's bringing in tons of filters, man. So I think we're gonna follow that lead and you know ship some of those and still try to get pallets of water as well. I think so, that's pretty. I think that's pretty smart. Um, Bill Gates had a documentary. He's talking about when he's in Africa mm -hmm. and how to filterate the water as well. And I think that's you know something that we we could take advantage of. You know? Well, just look at the mindset that we have right now, even just having this conversation, you're talking about filters in Africa and we're in America. Yes. <laughs> it's 20, yes. It's mm -hmm. 2022 and yes. we're talking about filters for water. It, this is, so what, one thing that wow. people don't understand is this is the capital of Mississippi. This is not like an outside little city. Yeah. This is mm -hmm. the capital that's This isn't like, this isn't Macomb. <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> no, nah, nah. This is, yeah, this isn't Bay St. Louis. Yeah, this is yeah. the capital, yeah. Right, yeah. So so I think um, people need to pay more attention to what's happening with the capital of, you know, one of our states that's actually going through this situation and what, what's really causing it. So there's some, you mm -hmm. know, there's the water infrastructure that, you know, I think it was about a month ago or, or a little longer okay. where the weather kind of, they had a, a you know rain and it rains there a lot so um when that happened it kind of over flooded and flooded the the infrastructure system and, mm. and kind of damaged it and shut it down right so that's what kind of like caused it to stop but before mm. then they was already the city was already on a bore your water type <laughs> <motion>. oh, <wow. laughs> oh, already yeah boil yeah, your water yeah, wow, yeah. it's crazy Ooh. so yeah so that's 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 pretty crazy to to be happening but they you know Right now, the mayor and the, you know, the governor is kind of going back and forth. And, you know, when any kind of catastrophic situation happened with any city, there's always those two platforms as a start. Mm -hmm. You know, right. trying to take the blame off mm -hmm. one, push it to the other, those type of things. It's not my fault. Yeah, yeah. Tate Reeves. But they <laughs> but they got, but they got um, um, the last, I think the, the, the mayor is kind of handling himself well in this situation mm -hmm. uh, because there are some, you know, initial interviews went out with with Reeves, yeah, and talked about you know just the failure of of how this process is happening and things like that. So then um, the mayor came out with his own um, <laughs> his like, own his own press conference, <laughs> yeah, and he brought with him the receipts as we call it. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Mm, so he mm, actually mm. he actually applied for some money for this situation, like wow. 40 something million dollars. Yeah. Well, oh, and goodness. he was denied by the governor. <gasps> denied by the Yeah. With his receipts. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was denied. Welcome so to now, Mississippi, boy. Yeah. <laughs> he got receipts though. <laughs> Welcome to Mississippi. Well, so, so. Oh man. So with that, it kind of like shed some light on, people start paying attention after that. Like, oh, okay. So the governor says that this is poor management. Yeah, poor leadership, mm -hmm. and then the mayor comes out with receipts of, "Hey, I I applied for money to try to solve this problem, and you said no." Yeah, exactly. So mm. that's where we are. That's where we are. Man. That's where we are. I know. And I, Miss, you had a, you had something yeah. to say. I didn't want. I, I was in oh no, that's okay. I was just saying, like it just sounds. You were talking about the pellets of water, and then going over to the filters, possibly. That I mm -hmm. think that that's really awesome. That you see that there is a need and you just help fill it, like whatever it is, no, right. like just trying to help whatever you can kind of mm -hmm. thing. So I think that's pretty awesome. Right. I mean, have so you always been like that? With it. Man, I've always been a, a, a helpful person. Mm. And it's just even, I mean, perfect example of like where it starts is, you know, when I was younger, uh, my mom used to work two jobs. Mm. And I used to like rearrange the house okay. so that, when she came home from work, yeah, it would look like she was in a. When I say rearranged, like clean, change the furniture around. Yeah. I thought he was gonna yeah. say something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, I, thought, I thought he was gonna say I would rearrange the house, so then she would have to have more work when she got no. home. No, like, no, no. Dexter's a jerk. Like what? <laughs> look, Mama, give you more work. 
<laughs> yeah, so so I used to real hard on you over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So I used to do that, man, to kind of, you know, just help out whenever I could. It was just the, the thought process of understanding mm. that she's working two jobs. Wow. There's there's two girls and six boys oh, wow. in the house and she's she's doing it solo. Wow. Like, yeah. So it just come from that. Uh, yeah. Salute that, that to your mom. Man. You got a big family. Yeah, That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. 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 But we in, I mean, wow. we, we were in the project, so you know, Mm. The projects is family, you know. Yeah. Those those are days where where the aunts or the the relatives, the neighbors, anybody will whoop you, right? Oh, about to say that. Did anybody else spank you? Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, they, yeah. They, yeah. okay now we yeah. on point there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you didn't get spanked by the neighbor, oh, then you, 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 that's not nah, love. Look, you got to get spanked by the neighbor. Yeah, it's the, it's the neighbor, and then when mom gets home, yeah, it's <laughs> it's again, it's happening again, man. Yeah, I mean, so, I had that yeah. situation happen when I was younger. The, uh, I was playing ball. And it went into the street. There was a car going by, and I let the car go by. Then I'm like, okay, the car's going by. I went to get the ball. He's like, hey, hey, you went in the street. I'm like, yeah, but the car went by. <laughs> Come get this butt with I'm like, wait, 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 hold up. Wait a second. Let's negotiate this because <laughs> negotiate. I really waited for the car. <laughs> Yeah. He was a negotiator. And then I was the kid that was like, Y'all see Big Mama beat up Lil Ray? <laughs> I got told up. <laughs> oh, you <Yeah>. snitching. <laughs> yeah. He telling yeah. on people. Okay. Aww. Yeah. What oh about, man, miss, you got you got spanked like none, that. None of the neighbors spanked me. Oh, okay, no. none of that abuse like us over here. Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, my my brothers and sisters and I have had a conversation saying that we'll spank each other's kids. Oh, y'all just talking. So, we yeah, exactly. real action I, over I know, here. I've done it. I've done it. <laughs> it's real. Okay. I've done it. You've so, done it. I okay. Mean, Okay. I mean, I mean that's controversial. Shout Sorry, I'm putting it out there. Well, <laughs> you know, it's okay. See, even on even on that topic, right? You yeah. Know, yeah. That, yeah. That's kind of yeah. like you know that may be some of the the work that y'all might we're gonna talk about later on with the whole Project Fifty thing. Well, yeah. But but just sure. just on that topic of of spanking kids, right? Mm-hmm. So society, like maybe twenty years ago, sort of ushers in like how they want things to go. Okay. Meaning, like, okay they'll start pushing out commercials that says, oh, are you being abused by your parents? I've seen that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So once they start doing that, they're taking away the structure and the discipline from the home mm-hmm. intentionally. Yes. So now you have kids who at that time was, okay, now they've been given the power of calling 911. You know what I'm saying? I've seen so, that happen. <laughs> I'm, calling, I'm calling the cops on you, daddy. Yeah, so, but... But the system sort of the system sort of uh, directs it that way mm. because the less you're disciplined at home, the more you're gonna act up in the street. Right, of course, you know. And then that's just a whole that's another in the pipeline. That's yeah, another yeah, yeah. conversation. That's another conversation. Oh, that's, a, that's another conversation yeah, yeah, yeah. for another time. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get into it. So yeah. the it's Project One Fifty. Project Fifty. Project, project 50. Fifty. Where does Project Fifty come from, and what is the project that you guys do? So Project Fifty came out of. Um, um, I've always done like a lot of community work. I had an organization before COVID um, called Hip Hop Help, where we put on uh, musical events monthly to help people with food, rent, and utility assistance. I seen it in Ventura County Star, right? Yeah. yeah okay, yeah, VC yeah. Star. Okay. So um, we did a festival in 2018 at the fairgrounds. Nice. Gave away free clothing to the whole county all day. Um, it was a unity festival. So, but we did that. Plus, we had a youth program. So we did that for like six years. I like the name. And uh, yes. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, and the name came from from just wanting to see different. Anytime I see something that's happening in society and I want to fix it, like there's not much that I'm going to talk about on social media without actually doing some action behind it. Okay. Because if I go to social media talking about something, you could believe that mm-hmm. I'm already doing it on the ground to where – when the questions start coming, I can point you to a direction. Okay. So, yeah, so I got to understand. He said, okay. if I talk about it, I'm going to be about it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. About it. Absolutely. And, and I don't, like, it comes from the passion part. So mm-hmm. I don't always need money. I know money will come later on. Mm-hmm. Right. So everything I start starts with zero. Pre- you know? And it starts from your heart. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, I had the, the hip-hop help thing, and then we was getting ready to put on a music festival. Um, and then COVID hit. And smashed mm. everything. And smashed everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything. So, so then it was sort of like you know, for the first few months of COVID, people are trying to figure out what they're gonna do. Is this real? If it's not, yeah. You know, how are we gonna protect ourselves? What we're gonna do? And there were wasn't really like laws that local laws that you know people understood because it was a fresh thing. So right. people didn't know how to how to handle things. But mm. for the entertainment side, I was getting texts, phone calls. 
like, yo, you're not doing anything? I'm like, bro, I'm just like y'all. Like, <laughs> right. you know, it's cold. What, what, what am I going to do? Yeah, yeah, I'm right, going right, through what right. you're going yeah. through. Yeah. So, so they kept coming, though. So it was like, man, um, all right, you know, I got to figure out something. But then the tape of Ahmaud Arbery being killed oh, uh, man. surfaces. And then I get a phone call. Okay. You know, say, hey, we heard you the guy who could help us organize mm. a peaceful march. And I turned him down the first time. Because it's like, first of all, we're in this COVID situation. Is that why you turned them down? Is it mm. purely COVID? Nah. Okay. I want to see if they're serious. Okay. Because if you tell somebody no and they just go away, then, well, you don't need my time. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Very good way got, to look at that. it. Yeah, yeah. Very so, good way to look at it. So then um, they came back and said, hey, um, we really want to do this. I'm like, all right, cool. So we tried to mm. figure it out. We met up and then went through some, I did a walkthrough with them. And then we did like some protocols of, we wanted visually for the city to see that we was trying to comply with something mm -hmm. even though there wasn't really everybody wasn't up on the rules and anything else right but i wanted visually to be a be that part of it so when we did this we organized it um <clears throat> me and my lady stayed up i went and got a rope from like 200 foot rope or something from a uh, home depot okay got red tape and we stayed up the night before and taped it every seven feet so that when we start doing the march, people would hold where those red, the red tape is. Okay. Uh -huh. So that if somebody comes by, yeah. they could see, see mentally that we're trying to comply with something. Wow. Very, very smart. Yeah. I know we're about to go into our first break here, but before we do, was there a lot of pushback and the pushback that you did receive? Speak on that from from just when just when you wanted to march, organize it, right? Oh. When you organize it, the well, march, all of that. Well, the the organizing part, there was no pushback. Okay. Um, even when we when we start doing the the march, um, law enforcement saw us and the motorcycle cop pull up next to me. It was like, "Hey, you need some assistance?" Oh, I'm like, "No, nah, we good." But thank there you, you go. <laughs> but the pushback always comes from social media. Yeah. Well, where where the people behind the keys? Strange, though. <laughs> the trolls. <laughs> that's yeah, how yeah. it is. Yeah, you so, would think that's where you get the most. Keep doing what you're doing, brother. Nah, man. Nah, nah, too many, nah. too many haters it's, out it's here. It's like it's like ninety nah. percent negative. I know. Oh yeah, positive, absolutely. Right? That's, that's like, sad. Yeah. yeah. So you got to be you got to be mindful of that, or it'll wreck wow. any idea you have. Yeah. And you, <laughs> you got to be built for it too. Yeah. That's yeah. Sad. yeah. We gonna but, talk. We gonna talk about. Yeah. That we gonna soon. get back. We gonna talk about that. And I also <laughs> want to talk about uh, dancing decks. I want to talk about that. Oh. Well. <laughs> I want to talk oh. about dancing decks and how that came about. So we'll be right back. Let's go. Hey, it's a mess out there. 